This is module two, lesson six, solving proportions. After this lesson, you need to be able to solve proportions. A proportion is just an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. So in a proportion, we're going to see that two fractions are equivalent. Example one, solve a proportion. Solve the proportion if necessary, round to the nearest hundredth. We're given the ratio of x over 45 is equal to the ratio of 15 over 25. Just two fractions equal to each other. To solve these simple proportions, simply multiply both sides by whatever is in the denominator that's paired with x. So here I would have to multiply by 45, which is what they said to do there to both sides, as shown here. Using a calculator, calculating it out, we end up with x equals 27. We should always check our answer. So if we plug it in what we got, if x is 27, when we do these to check, we can just reduce the fraction. So if I were to divide 27 and 45 by nine, I get three fifths. If I were to reduce 15 25ths and divide both things by 5, I also get 3 fifths. So reducing the fraction showed us our equation was true, so 27 must have been our correct answer. Check your understanding. Solve the proportion. If necessary, round to the nearest hundredth. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. Which value for n would give us a ratio of 3 over 2? So to do this, I'm simply multiplying by the denominator of where my variable is. So when I do that, I end up with n minus 4 equals 3 times 8 is 24 divided by 2 is 12. To solve for n, I would just add 4 to both sides n is 16. Okay. Example two, solve a proportion with two missing quantities. So we can see there's a variable there and a variable there. The process is going to be the same, except we're gonna end up needing to multiply by both denominators at different steps. So first, we're going to multiply both sides by 9, as shown down here. And then we're going to multiply both sides by 24. That way, when we do that, we end up with two expressions that are no longer fractions. A quicker way you could get to this is by simply cross multiplying. 24 times x is 24x. 9 times the quantity 2x minus 3 gives you 18x minus 27. Now, we just need to go through and solve for the variable on both sides. So, subtracting 18x, we get 6x equals negative 27. Dividing by 6, x must be equal to negative 4.5. Check your understanding. Solve the proportion, if necessary, round to the nearest tenth. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. So for this one, I'm going to use cross multiplying, just showing we're multiplying by the denominator both times. So if I do that, I get 18x equals 12 times. 2x minus 5. Distributing out, I have 24x minus 60. And that is still equal to 18x. This time I need to subtract 24x. Even though it's going to put my total negative, I'm subtracting that because my constant is over here. So negative 6x equals negative 60. 
Then finally dividing by negative six, I would end up with x equals 60 divided by six is 10, and then a negative and another negative make this positive 10. So D. If we got negative 10, we should always double check. So plugging in negative 10, we'd end up with negative 10 twelfths compared to negative 25 eighteenths. This fraction, negative 10 twelfths, the numerator is less than the denominator, so it's not even a whole. And then if we plugged in negative 10 here, we'd end up with negative 25 out of 18. So this left side would be less than one, this side would be more than one. Even without calculating it out, I can tell they're not the same. So A wouldn't have worked. Negative divided by negative is positive. And when we plug in positive 10, we end up with 10 twelfths equals 15 eighteenths, and those both do reduce to the same fraction of five over six.